This is Josh with the Crest Butte Avalanche Center. We're up here just below Coon Summit, uh, just under 12,000 feet. And behind me is Coon Bowl, um, east aspect. We were skinning up on an existing skin track and felt it collapse right near a tree. And about 20 feet over, the failure propagated into the bowl and pulled out most of this bowl. I would say about 40% of Coon Bowl just slid. Uh, triggered remotely by us on a skin track. You can see some really deep wind slabs off on the ridge. Some of those look to be, I would guess, eight feet deep, maybe more. And this is where it was triggered from. So we're over here, we have a HS of 79 centimeters, about just under three feet, two and a half feet. And down low, we have about 20 centimeters off the ground. We have this faceted, weak faceted snowpack. This exists throughout the region, and uh, this weak layer has been culprit for a lot of skier triggered avalanches, including this remote trigger today. Pretty hairy experience, but we were in safe terrain, choosing appropriate uh, terrain choices, and uh, interesting snowpack. This is the problem here was a persistent slab problem, and up high you can actually see some really significant wind loading as well. But this persistent slab problem is pretty widespread throughout our region. Uh, this really shows the potential for skier triggering and for remote triggering. So definitely stay safe out there and use some safe terrain choices.